it really felt like your, your defense gave you a real chance to win this ball game tonight. How would you assess their performance and maybe what needed to happen to get a win tonight? Yeah, I thought defensively our physicality uh, was incredible. The way we flew around, our effort that we played with, you know, outside of the one explosive run that we did give up, I did. I thought our guys played really, really well. You know, we were put in some really, really bad situations. To me, the game comes down to two picks. You know, we spot them three on the first drive of the game, and, and then we muff the punt. We get no points down there, first and one at the one. Those four drives right there, again, it's going to be really hard to beat a really good football team when those four things happen inside a game. Ben? Mike really hung in there against a really good defensive front, made some big throws, made some mistakes as well. But overall, what do you make of his performance in the first round? Again, a, a ton of toughness. The guy plays the game the way you want him to play. There, there's so many things throughout that game that give us a chance for a, a different outcome. If we play a little cleaner, if we execute a little cleaner, if we do some things a little differently. So there's frustrating <coughs> moments. I do. I think that's part of him being as young as he is, playing against people that he's having to play against. And there's going to be incredible growth from this for, for him. Sam? Definitely just think happened with the offense outside of those two scoring drives you had there. Yeah, again, I, our execution was not near what it needed to be. You know, we had the opportunity to create some chunks. We did not pitch and catch down the field. Uh, we had a drive right there in the third quarter where we were doing some high percentage things. We have two drops, have one on first down, have one on third down where we're in a three and out. I thought that was a huge turning point where we're trying to get the ball out of, out of Mike's hands, create some confidence and get into a little bit of rhythm. So uh, again, it was a lot of different things that, that went on that, that kept us from uh, executing the way we needed to, to be able to go score points. And then obviously down there first and one at the one, you got, you got to score a touchdown. As you get ready for Sunday day next week, Steve, once you get past that, what's kind of your main priorities is the transfer portal? Yeah, from a portal standpoint, we are we're going to address a, a, a ton of needs, and we're we're going to need to do a, a really good job uh, of going and getting the guys that we need to get. And uh, there's going to be guys at every single position to me that have the ability to come in here and, and make an impact. And we are looking to constantly upgrade. We want to make our roster as good as we possibly can, as fast as we possibly can. We have the ability to go do that, and uh, you know, our staff, myself. Uh, ready to work incredibly hard to go do it and get it done. Steve? Along those lines, too, I mean, you know, there's a maturation process for everybody involved. What do you think, going into the portal situation this year, how much better equipped are you guys to put together in this portal class? Yeah, I, th I think it's night day. Uh, I, I really do. So, again, excited uh, to get back to start going and get back to work. And th there won't be there won't be anybody work harder than we will that uh, – that is excited about having the opportunity to go get it flipped and go get it done. So uh, we, we've got plenty of needs and we're ready to go address them. Coach, I know it just it's fresh, but just kind of talk about the season coming to an end. Just talk about this group of seniors that you had, the progress yeah. that your entire team made this year. What did that mean to you? Again, there was there was a ton of frustration and a ton of a ton of disappointment uh, for everybody, uh, none more than, than myself and obviously those seniors. It's like I just told them, incredibly proud uh, of them staying the course, being true to exactly who they've been. And when we get back to Starkville and they come back, man, they're going to be proud. They're going to be proud of the product. They're going to be proud of, uh, of the foundation. They're going to be proud of, of our university, and they're going to be a big part of, of our family forever. And so, uh, again, great disappointment, but proud of them for, for who they've been. Another big game for Kevin Coleman, obviously, uh, what has he meant to, to this football team this year? Yeah, he's, he's meant a ton. And uh, for Kev, he's just getting started. You know, again, that's a guy that uh, is incredibly competitive, has played the game in a really tough way, and, and is a guy that we're going to continue to push to the front, uh, to lead by example, to create accountability inside our locker room, and, and to get done what we need to get done. Steve, in addition to the, uh, the portal season, what needs to happen in order for you to win ball games like this? In fact, in Georgia, where do you feel like you need to get over the hump and be competitive in the SEC? You, you've heard me talk a little bit about making the layups. I, th I think that's something that is absolutely critical. You know, again, from a turnover standpoint today, the two the two interceptions were things that did not need to happen at all. Uh, the muff punt obviously is an issue, and then again, you got to score a touchdown when you get down there first or one at the one. So. 
those four things are the example for today as you come on the road and you play in a rivalry game and a uh, top 15 opponent. Those things can't happen. So making the layups will be critical. We're going to have to offensively run the ball more effectively to me and create chunks in the run game offensively to, to help us and take some pressure off the quarterback position. Sam? Uh, kind of on that question, but when you, when you look on this whole season, where do you just think maybe some of the reasons are that it went poorly and why you only had two, two wins this year? Yeah, I, I think, again, there's there's plenty of reason game to game. Uh, we, we, weren't, we weren't a team that was able to, to keep momentum inside of football games. And I've talked a ton about complimentary football. That'll be a big piece of that, being able to sustain. I've talked a ton about that as we move through the, the season. And so those are things as we get back and, and look at building the roster, that's going to be a huge part of it. Our development inside our program with our roster is something that has to change. And our scout teams have to upgrade in a huge way so that at practice you feel the pressure and you feel the strain and, and, and that's part of going on the road and winning games that, that we got to win inside this league. That's a huge part of our development as a program, and that, that's something that's got to get a lot better. Last year, the defense was the hallmark of the program. Offense really struggled. This year, inverse happened, but the defense started to figure it out towards the end in these last few games. Kind of talk about how you can take that momentum with the offense being as good as it was this year, keeping games close and the defense coming around towards the end. How can you take that and make yourself better for next year? Yeah, there, every single position has got to take a step forward and there's got to be great improvement. And again, I think the guys inside our locker room understand how close we were at times and, and understand what it's going to take to be able to go get it done instead of being on the wrong side to be on the right side. Uh, but there, there were some really good moments defensively, again, having the ability to go sustain on both sides of the ball is going to be critical for us. And that to me is filling the entire roster. So that strain happens on Tuesday and 